Hey, it's me, Tiffany Zuri. Hope you're all doing well. Today I have a wash and go slash product review for you all. I tried out patterns on the go kit. It is supposed to be great for curlies, coilies, and t all tight textures. And honestly, I used it for about a month and I liked it. I'm going in with the pattern hydration shampoo and just putting it in my hair. I really just shampoo at the roots and then work my way down. After that, I separate my hair into two big sections. And then from there, I start sectioning my hair into smaller sections, really trying to focus on getting all the little tangles out of my curls, as you can see. Really just going through with my fingers and combing out all the little knots, making sure to go from the bottom and pull upward to help with the detangling process. I'm now going in with the conditioner. What, what is my faces? My goodness. My apologies. Again, really focusing on getting all the little knots out of my hair. That way my hair is less frizzy. I used the wash and go kit for about a month and a half. That's how much the products lasted me. And honestly, I really enjoyed them. The detangling process was really smooth. And as you can see, I use my fingers. I swear by using your fingers because using a paddle brush or any type of comb is just gonna add a lot of breakage to your hair. I went ahead and sectioned my hair into two sides and then I sectioned those sides into two pieces and wrapped them around each other making a fake braid. I find that this helps my curls set and really elongate my curls. I know if you have curly hair you know curl elasticity changes day to day. I use my tried and true favorite the Vino Positively Radiant skin cleanser and then the skin brightening scrub these are my holy grails i also love the method citrus ginger sea buckhorn energy boost wow that is a very long name it smells heavenly and it really helps energize you and wake you up in the mornings so i'm just getting it on my loofah and you know getting nice and sparkly and clean going in with my mini Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask for a little extra bit of self care. This was the first time me trying out this product so of course I had to take out the aluminum, my favorite part. Does anyone else struggle with these because they were like the worst thing about new products is taking off that little safety seal which I'm so thankful for but it's just a hassle. Anywho, I go ahead and put some on my face, really applying it generously to my under eyes, and I just go ahead and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes, as it says on the package. I'm using the pattern leave-in conditioner and of course as you can see there's another safety seal that I have to open my favorite but first we're gonna rewind go back a second we always use my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion today I'm using the Laneige water bank cream I believe it's a mask I had a mini size, so I thought I'd try it out. I did enjoy it. It has a nice light smell.
I always try to make sure to use upward motions when I'm applying lotion to my face because I really don't want to increase wrinkles as I get older from the pulling of my skin. mini lip balm mask so I went ahead and put some on my lips for some extra hydration if I'm being really honest with you I really did not care for the smell it has a bubblegum like quality to it and personally bubblegum is not for me I'm using the Main Choice Leave-In. I really love this product, and I just saw that they recently started selling it at CVS, I wanna say, and Target. If you see the Main, you should totally check out their products. If you have curly hair, they're amazing. For the sake of the video though, and all the safety seals out there, I am using the Pattern Leave-In, which the smell was okay, I'm not complaining. Could be better. I put way too much in my hand, but that's okay. More moisture is better for curly hair. As you can see, my hair is still in the braids. I go ahead and take them out and just pull the curls down while massaging the leave-in into the hair. Again, going from the bottom and brushing upward to help get tangles out and minimize frizz. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my wash and go. That's all I do. I let my hair air dry and... I go through and I mess with the curls. I'm so awkward. I'm really praying that it looks good, my hair, because you know if you have curly hair, your hair never curls the same. So I'm praying to the curl gods for a good hair day. And again, just I keep going through and combing through the curls, trying to help detangle. <laughs> My partner was making fun of me. He's like, why are you smiling and looking at the camera? I'm like, what do you want me to do? Have like a stale resting bee face the whole time? Anywho. <laughs> Anyways, so I just finish off by shaking my hair out, really getting a good head bang in. If there's any headbangers, leave a comment in the comment section. If you like some good tunes, let me know, because I always appreciate some good music. If you know, you know. That was a little cringy, but if you know, you know. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for new content.